北京版。I thought it would be a lovely week for some camping, but then I realized you need ID for that sort of thing. So I did what any sensible human would do, and I hopped into the van of a family of four. And now I'm here. Welcome everyone to season four of Baking Bad. Many could say that I have adapted to the minimalist lifestyle, eating dead frogs and mushrooms, everything else that comes to me. And I'd like to say that I've calmed down a lot because of it. This season, I think we're going to be focusing a lot on what people call my short temper. I know it's not much, but it's what I call home. Anyways, after all, as this is a cooking show, we'll be getting to some cooking very soon. But I'd also like to say that I've adapted to the vegan lifestyle. And so we will harm no animals, and indeed no wildlife in this video. Being said, there aren't many options in a forest like this one, so veganism can wait. And now we just wait for something to come by. Ah, some protein. But I have to keep the audience ratings in mind, so we'll let them slide. The life of someone like me is a humble one. I don't the busy man I used to be. So I like to end my day off right here on the swing. This has been Baking Bad. Good night, America. Episode one complete. Don't be rude. Sit with the audience and enjoy the show. Welcome back to Baking Bad, season four. Last episode, I went against, against my more, better moral judgment and I killed an animal of the forest. What are you doing there? There's nothing there. And so I am very regretful to say that I have revoked my vegan lifestyle. I am not beautiful in the eyes of Mother Nature. And so, this episode of Baking Bad will be spent um, trying to get myself back on track. So let's look forward to that. Whoa, 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 nothing to see there. They call me Puffin, Peter. Homegrown tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes. I really love homegrown tomatoes. So, um, one of my associates told me of a new model that is, um, just came out from Placeholder Industries. The Alpha A1 Omega Super Soldier. And now what I've been dealing is with is the Beta Super Soldiers. And the common farmhand could take care of one of those. So in a way, I, I'm really screwed, you know? But hey, I love a challenge. So I suppose next episode of Baking Bad will be focused on uh, killing the beasts. Well, that does it for this episode of Baking Bad, everybody. Episode two complete. Good morning. Um, welcome to the whoa, finale of season four of Baking Bad. Um, now, the last episode, I promised everybody that we would be tracking down the new model of Super Soldier, sorry, 
And, um, well, I haven't seen much of him today, but I'm going to say that he's got about five minutes before he gets here. Maybe less, so I might as well just scare off all the wildlife now. Bang! I don't see anything. Oh, hey, it's you. The one I've heard so much about. Hi. Just gonna shoot me? You got no flavor, man. <laughs> oh, crap. Hey, hey. A duel of men. I haven't told you one thing. I'm not right-handed. <laughs> well, today on Baking Bad, we're going to be cooking um, the wild rabbit. And I know what most, what most of you will say is that wild rabbit tastes like shit, and you'd be right. Um, where's my gun? Oh, yeah, that's right. I threw it in his face. See you next time on Baking Bad. And now a word from our sponsors. Hello. I'm Rob Dennis Ouija, survivor of the Titanic and country legend. And I'm here to tell you about the seven great salad project. Still a delicious blend. All right. Let's read off the label. Contains borax, wax, and hemlock, perfect for any growing boy. Now back to the regular scheduled program.